You'll find a lot of craft breweries and whiskey distillers around Middle Tennessee, but today we're mixing up some cocktails with a local guy who's all about rum. Hatton Smith is here from Campesino. We're so glad to welcome you to Talk of the Town. Oh, thank you for having me. Fairly new to Nashville, right? That's right. Um, so your business is based here, but it actually started in the jungle. That's right. I used to live down in Panama where I ran an off the grid illegal rum distillery for <laughs> almost two years. Really? That's right. Okay. You're legal here, though. Legal here. Yeah, That's good, right. good. So what's different about the kind of rum that you find, you know, in the jungles of Panama? Well, the rum down in Panama, it's what's really important is it's aged tropically. So it's aged where it's distilled. Uh, the tropical climate really plays a big part in the maturation of the spirit because of the heat and the humidity. The spirit matures a lot faster down there than it would in, say, uh, places like the United Kingdom. Yeah, and this is just clean rum, no additives, right? Exactly right. All of our rums are free of all additives, such as sugar, coloring. Uh, oftentimes, producers will add thickeners like glycerin, and Ooh. both these rums uh, have none of that. I love it. All right, we're going to mix up a couple of drinks. It sounds really delicious. Sweet tea mojitos. That's right. I this, love it. Yeah, this is like a, a twist on almost like a new southern classic. So okay. it's, it starts with two squeezes of uh, a lime. So we'll cut a lime in half, and we'll put two full lime squeezes in there. And what we're gonna make today is uh, in a big pitcher. So if you're, if you're hanging out by the pool, uh, if you're with a bunch of friends, this is a great recipe to, to really kick off the summer. Yeah. So after you squeeze the two limes in there, you just, you just dump them right into the pitcher and you wanna take a big healthy handful of mint. Mm, smells so good. Yeah, rip it apart a few times to kind of open up that oils, drop it all into the pitcher. Take a nice uh, classic wooden spoon and you want to do a little muddling. Okay. So that just kind of blends the mint and the lime together. Stir it all up. Next we'll use our Campesino Silver Rum. Mm -hmm. And you'll fill it up about a third of the way. Or a little stronger if that's your liking. Yeah, and we do have the recipe on our website so you'll get exact amounts and things if you can't eyeball it like that. <laughs> Once you got the rum in there, you'll want to go and stir it again, really kind of mash some of those limes, but you really don't want to, you don't want to bruise the mint. You just mm -hmm. kind of want to express the oils. Okay. Next thing you'll want to do is add ice and fill it all the way to the top. This ice will melt a little bit, creating a, a slight dilution, which is great for the cocktail. And then after that, you simply just fill it to the top with sweet tea. Oh wow, that's great. You like the Arizona sweet tea? Uh, you know, it's it's a good one. It's, it's the one that you can find pretty relatively. Being from Birmingham, I, I like Milo's. Me too, I was yeah. just gonna say. I think that'd be so good in this. That's right. Yeah. Once you got the sweet tea in there, once again, give it a nice stir, a nice muddle, mix all the mint. You can see it, it comes out to be, you know, a pretty, pretty cocktail. That's great. Tell you what, can I pour this one up while you make the old fashioned? For sure. Okay. All right, so we're making an old fashioned with rum. That's right. Nice. So this will be a rum old fashioned. So it's a little twist on a classic. You'll start, fill the glass up with uh, <clears throat> about a third of the way with rum, really about two ounces. Next, you'll add two dashes of Angostura bitters and two dashes of orange bitters. Ah. And what I love about this cocktail is we make it with a little bit of local honey. Mm. So I'm a huge honey fan. You just squirt a little bit of honey down in there and that'll be your sweetener. Next thing. Top it with some ice, and you'll spin it for about 30 seconds. So and that'll just, kind of get all the things emulsified, exactly. get the honey diluted. Yeah. Yep, it'll, di it'll also just dilute the cocktail. And the really key is garnish it with a lemon peel. I love lemon. it. That looks delicious. Okay, Absolutely. here we go. Here are both of them right here, and they look yummy. That's Campesino Rum. Thank you so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. You'll find these recipes online in the Talk of the Town section at newschannel5.com. You'll also find a link to the Campesino website.